something, right? Mm -hmm. this. Okay. So you go to the uh, location where you stored, uh, so right, uh, somewhere we kept in C, Eclipse 64, that uh, Eclipse, right? Mm -hmm. You go to that location and launch from there, or you can create a shortcut like this. So I created a shortcut, I kept in the doc. Mm -hmm. Right? Status bar, we kept, we kept it here. So you can click this or you can go to the location. Let me go to the location where I kept uh, Eclipse 64. So this is the Eclipse. This one, same as this one. Okay. So you can mm -hmm. double click on that. Uh, it will open for you. So now the first you will get this uh, window. Are you are you in the same window? Uh it's launching right now. I think since it's his first time, it might take a, just a just a yeah. minute. Yeah, little bit time it will take. So it's asking me to select a directory as workspace. Right. So this is the one you just give you C colon mm -hmm. backslash eclipse iPhone workspace. So what is this? All your developed programs, projects, everything will store in this folder in the C mm -hmm. drive. So tomorrow your Eclipse crashes. Your programs will be safely available in this folder. Mm -hmm. You don't need to struggle any. So always all your programs under this directory only. See workspace. So it's the exact same thing, right? You can give any name. But, uh, no, mm -hmm. you, but you yeah, can... you're right. Eclipse work, Workspace helps me find exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, the name, it will be easy, right, to mm -hmm. understand. That's why we, we can give the same name. And should I leave the checkbox unmarked or? Uh, uncheck, uncheck this, leave it, okay? Okay, leave. sure. Whenever you want, you can change the workspace if you want, okay? Mm -hmm. So you can create a different workspace also here. Yeah. Okay. So now you just given, right? C colon backward slash Eclipse hyphen workspace. Yes. See, my workspace is available here. You can, let me show you. This is the one. Mm -hmm. So I created here, I'll see all my projects. Each project is separate folder will create. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to create another project for you. And that project also, it will show shown here as a folder. Mm -hmm. Now click on launch. Okay. Oh, sorry. See, these are all the projects and uh, let me close mm -hmm. all these things. I'm currently on the welcome page. It gives me multiple options to create a new project, check out projects on Git, welcome. existing. Welcome. You can just do, there is a crash I can close I can. On okay. the welcome keyword, right hand side you will get a crash I can. To uh -huh. close, close that. Okay, close done. Then you will see or uh, right, uh, left pane, package explorer. Uh -huh. Then right hand side, bigger one, and uh, there is a one more uh, console. You should see that. Let me enable console. You can enable console here. Okay. So these are the three parts our Eclipse. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure whether you are getting this bottom part or not. If not, we can enable that. Okay. So where do you go again for the console? So there is a menu, right? Uh, file, mm -hmm. edit, navigate, search, project, run window. Mm -hmm. In the window, show you whatever you miss you can enable from here hmm. 
even for example, if I pa package explorer, if I miss, I can enable from here. See, I, I, I'm missing right now. I don't have. Even console also, I don't have. How can I enable that? Go to window menu, expand it, show view, see package explorer. See, now I got a package explorer. Again, if you want a console, go to window, show view, console. So you can enable console also. So like that, whatever you want, all the options are available under here. So whatever you want, you can enable that. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So let's go here. Uh, So now we need to create a project first. First, let me explain this, all this. Mm -hmm. So Package Explorer is used to create your own project. If you want to create your own project, you will use a Package Explorer. Below it will list out for you. And then the top one, menu bar. So this is called menu bar. File, edit, navigate, search, project, run, window, help. So file, you know, you can create a new one, you can open the existing one, you can import and export, you can restart the Eclipse, you can switch to different workspaces, you can exit, all this you can do with the file, file menu. So then you have edit, cut, copy, paste, delete, uh, undo, redo, you can do the edit. Then navigate, you want to navigate to different steps, different files, you can do that. Then search. You can do the search with a particular class name. You can do a search with a particular text. So that searching any file or any keyword, you will use this uh, search. Then project, you want to build a project, you will use a project keyword. Then run. If you want to run your uh, file, so you will use, or you want to debug, you can use a debug or run, whatever you want. Right, so that's a, these options are very helpful for us. You can use run as a Java application, run as a test engine test, run as a generic test. So different type of you know uh, files you can run to see that. Okay, that is that is a run as. Next we have a window menu. So if you want to change anything in the Eclipse, you will use this editor. Or you can use a preferences if you want to change. You can use a preferences, and uh, if you want to enable anything, this you can use this uh, show view and uh, appearance. If you want to change, you can change the appearance also. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these are all the menu and help menu. Basically, just we'll use install new software. If any new software, if you want to install, you can use install new software. Eclipse Marketplace. So here also you can search and you can install from there. These two are very helpful for us. Mm -hmm. So this is all about uh, menu bar. Under menu bar, you have a toolbar. Same. So this is also you can create a new file and open the existing files. You can save, you can uh, save all, you can just you know open a terminal. So you have a lot of options here, right? Again, you see deep bug icon, right? You can run mm -hmm. in deep. You can uh, run using this uh, green bullet icon is a run, run icon. You can create a package. You can create a class. So you can create a folders, whatever you want. You can search. So these are different options you have. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's the toolbar. And uh, yeah, so the top portion, the right hand side top portion is where you will write the code, where you will write the code. And the bottom portion, once you run the file, you can see the output. The output will be shown in the console. So these are the two important uh, concepts. And we can, uh, so let's get started. First, we'll create a project. So mm -hmm. in our, in our uh, so blog, I have given very, very clear indication how to create a project, everything, where you can find there is a Java program keywords, program keywords. You can see here. Mm -hmm. So see how to create a project in Eclipse. So nicely, it, you know, 
launch the Eclipse, click on File menu, New, Java Project. So everything very neatly given and you can easily so do that. Okay. So let's go do that uh, one by one. And I'll, I'll just show you file new. You can also try, okay, along with me. Sure. File new. Mm -hmm. Either you can use a Java project if you want to create a Java project. No, I want to create a different project. Then you should not use a Java project. So mm -hmm. you have to use a project. For example, I want to create a Maven project. I want to create a Gradle project. So you cannot use a Java project. Okay, if you want to create a Java project, use Java. Otherwise, you know, you are not seeing this Java project. Still, you want to create a project, click on project, and you can search here, Java. See, now you will get a Java project here. Okay? Or you want to create, you know, create a Maven project. See, now you see, you will get a Maven project here. Or you want to create a Gradle project. These are the different type of projects, Gradle project you can create. Okay. Mm -hmm. so now I want, you can select wizard, you can search with the project. So I want Java project, right? So I can select the Java project. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you in the same window? Yeah. So select the Java project. Mm -hmm. Click, next. Click on next. next. Here you need to provide a project name. I can give you Sanjit. Java training, okay? Mm -hmm. November 10, 2023. Right, so this is the how we can uh, store. And then, so you select, uh, leave all this, uh, use a default location. So mm -hmm. where uh, Eclipse, uh, no, we created a workspace, right? And mm -hmm. under that space, this one folder will create. So under that folder, so you uncheck this if it is checked, create module info dot Java, it is, uh, so you have to uncheck this. If mm. it is checked, you uncheck this. Done. So then click on finish. So don't touch anything with the, the execution because our versions are different. I think you're using 11, I'm using 17. You can use 11. Okay, okay. Can use 11. I'll switch it back then. Okay. Mm. Yeah. You can switch back to 11. Hmm. Because we install 11 only on your machine, right? Yeah, it's somehow going all, all the way up to 17 showing. That's okay. So 11 you can select. Mm -hmm. Then click on finish. finish. Okay. Then it will create a project here. Mm -hmm. It will show you under package explorer. Okay. Now, so you can expand this to your project. Mm -hmm. If you expand the project, you can see under project, you have a JRE system library and a SRC folder, source folder. So what is mean by this is, first top is a project, project below. If you expand this bullet icon, you can see JRE system. All the Java native code is available there. So already they have written a code, right? That mm -hmm. code is available here. That means you can use that reusable code in your programs. If any library present in your project, you can use that code in your programs. Now, source folder. Now in the source folder, Nothing is there now, as of now. We need to create a packages. So what is a package? So what is a package? A package is a, a collection or a group of similar kind of classes, similar kind of classes, interfaces, and sub packages combination is called a package. So under source, you have packages. Under source, you have packages. So we need to create a packages. 
So let's see what are the packages and how to create uh, packages. Uh, so let's understand the package concept, all package concept. So what is a package? Package is a, a group of similar kind of classes interfaces and sub packages is called a package okay mm -hmm. so packages are two types so what are the two packages one is user defined packages Second one, built-in packages. So these are the two types of packages. What are the advantages of packages? So why do you need packages? So packages are used okay, to categorize your classes and interfaces. So that maintenance will be very easy. So, packages are used to categorize classes and interfaces. So, second one. Okay, next. So it will, you know, uh, resolve the conflicts. For example, same name you, you want to give in uh, different packages. So that uh, conflicts will be resolved. So that is possible. You know, different packages, you can give same class name, same interface name. But same package you cannot give same class name, same interface name. That's not possible. Okay. So mm -hmm. it results conflicts, you know, naming collisions. It avoids packages, avoids the naming collisions. So these are the main advantages of a package. Now let's understand uh, what is user defined packages means. So a package is created by user. So how, how can you create a user defined package? You can create a user defined package. Uh, you can just use the package keyword, package, and you can give package name. That's a package. So you can create any package. So package below, you can write uh, many classes, interfaces. And you can do use a different package below. You can have next to built in packages. Built in packages. So, built in package means package which is already created by. Java or, or which is already available, okay? So 
that's a built-in package. What are the different built-in packages? So you have Java dot lang. So built-in packages Java dot net. So Java dot io. So Java dot SQL. Java dot AWT. See all lowercase you have to write uh, no packages concept. Okay. Mm -hmm. the name you have to write lowercase. So Java dot uh, util. So Java dot util is a very famous one for collections. So these are the predefined built-in packages. So here Java is the root package and these are all sub packages. So Java is the root package. Under root package, you have a lang, net, io, sql, awt, util. So these are all the Java packages. So each package again contains classes, interfaces, and sub packages will be there. So that's the complete uh, information about a package. Tomorrow you need to explain about this package, okay? So any questions here? Uh, no, so far so good. Okay, good. So let's go on. Uh, so these things I can erase this. Let me erase this. So, is this what you mean by native libraries? Yes, this native libraries inside you can get all the default inbuilt packages. Mm -hmm. That package is inside you have classes. Mm -hmm. That uh, libraries means the native code, the code mm -hmm. already developed, already developed by so, so these guys. The okay. Java is already developed that. That we can use in our uh, okay. Now let's create a packages. How to create a packages? So right click on the SRC folder, new package. So you have to give package all lowercase, remember? No spaces. Mm -hmm. Just do package and give the package name. So I'll say simple programs. See all lowercase you are giving. You should not give cap letters. Mm -hmm. So don't check this checkbox. Just give the name. And one more package I want to create. New package. So under right click on SRC, you create multiple packages. Mm -hmm. Same source folder. Source folder means where your code will store, basically. Mm -hmm. So variable type, type programs. Next, right click, new package. So method programs. We can finish. So these are the few packages I created. So under this, now we need to create a class. So we should understand what is a class. So package, you understood, right? Package contains a group of classes, similar kind of classes. Mm -hmm. Similar similar kind of classes, interfaces, and sub packages. That's a called package. And uh, let's see what is a class. A class is a template or uh, blueprint. Okay, so a, a class is a template or a blueprint. Using this, you can create a objects. So basically it's a template. Using the template, you can create objects using this class. If class doesn't exist, object doesn't exist. So first class must be there. Class is just a template or instruction, some 
design okay so it's a blueprint in your mind or in a paper or somewhere so based on that you can create objects so class contains many members class inside you can write many members so these are all how to create a so project and then packages i have given very clearly here how to create a packages okay mm -hmm. so I have explained very clearly here. Now we can create a class. So what is a class? So we should understand. See under, this is the package name. So you can see this one. This is the package name. Under source, you have a package name. Mm -hmm. So you can create a class for particular package. Classes for particular package. You want to create any class that should be under one package. So that package, let me show you here. Um, this is a simple program we created, a first class. Let me, if there is a definition, I want to show you the definition. Yeah. So a class is a blueprint of, for the object. Before we create an object, we first need to define the class first. So a class is just a prototype of you know your house or anything, anything. It contains all the details, like you know, if you take a house, uh, how many floors you want, how many doors you want, number of windows. So based on these descriptions, we'll build the house. House is an object. House is an object. So since many houses can be made from the same description, right? You can create with one, one architecture. You can create uh, same kind of you know, structure. So like two bedroom means you have two bedroom, three or four. So like this, you have a detailed you know, class. Based on that class, you can construct a house. You can build a house. So that is the you know, a class inside. You have many members. What are the members? Variables, methods, constructors and blocks. So these are the members you can find inside the class. All are mandatory, not required. At least one, one member must be there inside the class. Okay, that's okay. the class means. Class is a logical entity. Class is a logical entity, just a logic will be there in the class. And the class structure is this one, access modifier, class, the class name. So curly bracket, this is the class name after you have to give curly bracket. And then class below you can write any variables you can declare, methods you can create, constructors you can create, blocks you can create. These are all the members. So class starts with a curly bracket, ends with a curly bracket. So this is the class structure. So access modifiers I'll give don't worry. Okay, access mm -hmm. modifiers is a big topic we'll discuss separately. So this is the class structure. So important, you have to remember this class structure. Access modifier, class keyword, class keyword after you give the class name, like class name can be house, like computer or mobile, right? Anything class name. A class name is basically a noun, just a name it will represent, okay? So name or place or thing, it, it will be anything, the class name. So you can create a class name like this. So, and then mention all your members inside the class. So mainly fields or variables are used to store the data. So basically fields or variables represent the state of that class and methods represent the behavior of the object. So methods will tell you what uh, so the object has to do, so that uh, what actions you want to perform, that will be decided by these methods. So fields are basically used for storing the data. And methods are used to perform the actions, some operations, behavior you want to explain, what it has to do, that you will uh, define with a methods concept. 
for example for our bicycle object right you can create a bicycle class so always class name starts with a capital letter you have to start with a capital letter so the class name always whether you are creating already created by java the naming conventions of classes if class name contains one word the first letter of that word should be capital remaining letters are in lower case if one word is there now bicycle is a one word right so first letter what is the first letter b that's why b capital remaining all letters are in lower case that's how we will write a class name then you can create inside the class so a variable and you can create a method also one method so method will do some action what this bicycle has to do then close the class if you close the see if you open the class you should end with the end curly bracket flower bracket also we call this right that's the one so and you know if the class contains more than one word right more than one word is there so this is the one all the rules for a class creation what are the rules you have to follow these rules rule one if a class name contains one word first letter should be in upper case and remaining letters are in lower case so that's a sample see s capital remaining all lower case rule two if a class name contains more than one word every word first letter should be in upper case and remaining all letters should be in lower case and should not provide any spaces between the words so that is the so this so how you can so create this selenium web driver can you see this how many words here can you tell there Ranjit, are you there? Oh, uh, yes, yeah, sorry. Okay. How many words are here? Three. Three. So each word, first letter, you have to write a cap letter. That's for the rule two. Rule two talks about each word, first letter should be in uppercase. And remaining letters are in lowercase only. See that? First letter capital, remaining are lowercase. Next. First letter capital remaining, so letters are lowercase. Third letter, first letter capital remaining lowercase. That's a naming conventions of a class wherever, whenever you are creating a class. So a class in a class starts with a curly bracket, ends with a curly bracket. So in between that, all your variables you can declare, methods you can create, constructors you can create, blocks you can create. So can I create outside of this? Uh, class uh, curly bracket outside, end curly bracket outside, these variables and methods. No, you should not do that. If you do you what- just won't execute it, right? It won't execute, it will throw a compile time error. Mm -hmm. So you should not do that. Mm -hmm. So rule three is class name is followed by start curly brackets. It tells that it is a class beginning and should end with a end curly bracket. So that tells it is the end of that class. So the class must have at least one member. So this is the naming best you no know, coding guidelines. Mm -hmm. So you should not write a lower case. You have to follow this. See, first letter capital, each word first letter. These are the best practices. Uh, mandatorily, you need to follow. Mandatorily, mm -hmm. not uh, simple. So if you write like this, this is a bad practice. You need to follow these best practices. Naming conventions. File names should be same as a class name. So what are the file name you are creating? See, this is the class name, right? Single class. You know, that's the same name. Single class, a file account, checker, dot Java. So class name and file name should be same. So the file name is a dot Java. You will get extra. Okay. So mm -hmm. whatever the class name is there, how can I recognize the class name? Class keyword after the class name will be there. Class keyword after class name will be there. So class name dot Java is the cl class file, Java class file. 
So what is the Java class file? Class name dot Java. What is the extension of Java class file? Dot Java. Every file has an extension, right? Similarly, mm -hmm. Java file has an extension dot Java. So, but before that, you have to write a class name. Class name dot Java. See, account creator dot Java. Account verifier dot Java. So, this is all the file names. Because same class name. This is the class, public class, account creator. That's a one class. With that class, you will, it will create a one Java file. So, one Java file it will create. Then it will compile. So, during compilation time, what will happen now? The entire code will be converted into byte code. Byte code inside, what will be there? All the 100 format, right? That's a byte code. So, mm -hmm. during byte code, there is a dot class file will generate. So, same account created dot class, dot class. You have a dot Java file, dot class file also after compilation. First dot Java file when you create the Java file, Java class. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once you compile, another file will generate with the same class name. What is that? Class name dot class file. Dot class file will generate. So now account created dot class. For example, this code is compiled. Now what is another file will generate? Account created dot class. What will be there in this dot class file? Only byte code. Dot class file contains what? Byte code. You cannot see, you cannot read that. So this dot Java file, you can read all English, plain English words. Mm -hmm. But dot class file, what it contains? Byte code. You cannot see anything, you cannot read also. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that is the all the so how to create a class and so let's see, let's create a quickly a class. So right, I, I want to create a for this package, okay? Right mm -hmm. click on the package, which package you want to create a class, you right click on that package. So here are, you have three packages, which package you want to create a class. So I want to create a class for this package. So right click, new, you can see there is a class. There is an interface, there is an enum, there is a package. You can create a new package, new class, new interface, new enum, new file, new folder, anything you can create, right? Just click on new class. So first source folder, your project name, then source folder. Then source folder inside, what is there? Package name. So what is this doing? Create a new Java class. Just give the class name. My first Eclipse. program. Let's create this. My first Eclipse. See every word, first letter I'm writing capital letter. Mm -hmm. My first Eclipse program. Then modifiers you select a public. Mm -hmm. Then methods, which methods would you like to create? Select this public static void main method. Mm -hmm. Public static void main method. So now first you have to understand. See package below this class. Class you are giving a modifier public. Then the super class of this class, whatever we are creating, java.lang.object. See, object is O capital. So this is a predefined class in this lang package. So this is the super class for all the Java classes. Whatever the class you created, the parent of any class is the object. Object is the top. On top of that, there is no other class. Only object is the parent, boss. Below that only all other classes will be there. So it will automatically extend to any of the child class you create. Then main method is very important if you want to execute your program. So then click on finish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Select the, give the class name, then select the main method, click on finish. So method is, otherwise you have to write this method. So instead of that, you check this checkbox and click on finish. It will create. See, first top, 